You are an insurance producer, not an agency owner, but that doesn't mean that you can't partner with a group that has a contract that will benefit you. Unfortunately, there are many groups out there that build contracts to advance themselves, not the producer. So finding an agency to partner with can be intimidating, even for those who have been in the industry for a long time. However, we here at Insurance Centers of America are devoted to supporting you, the agent. So stick around to the end because I have a complimentary tool for you to help avoid getting trapped in a career-killing contract. So if you're looking to kickstart or boost your career with an insurance group that sincerely cares, fantastic, you've come to the right place. So let's face it, most contract language is really confusing, almost as if it's intentionally designed to confuse or discourage transparency. In fact, some contracts hide important details within pages and pages of legal jargon. We've encountered this ourselves while drafting our own producer contracts. There are even moments when our own agreement confuses me despite having helped draft it. There's no need to worry. We are well-versed in the industry and contract intricacies. Of course, we have contracts as well, and in fact, encourage our applicants for our producer program to explore other agency careers so they can truly appreciate the vast differences in contract terms. Doing this research ensures that our applicants and you enter into agreements that truly serve the best interests of the agent. Here at ICA, we genuinely prioritize the welfare of everyone who interacts with us, even if that means a promising prospect chooses another agency to do business with. But does every agency have the same approach? The answer to that is no. Here's an example, a non-compete clause. In our contract, we explicitly state we do not have a non-compete that the producer is going to have to deal with if the contract is terminated. I have worked several years with agents over my 25 plus years that have fallen victim to this and other hidden contract confusion. I worked with a producer that spent years to build their book of business only to find out that the business went all to the agency that they were with and they lost everything, leaving them with nothing. In some cases, this can be a bitter end to a really promising career. And it's not just about what is in the contract, but what is not as well. There can be details that may be left out of the contract that could be damaging because the agent doesn't know what to ask. You might think you're getting compensation you deserve, but in reality, they are keeping the profit sharing from the carriers. Don't let a contract hold you hostage. As an Asian recruiter with over 25 years of experience, I've witnessed it all. I've seen the struggles, the challenges, and the successes in this industry. Drawing upon my extensive experience, I've developed a powerful tool that can make all the difference in your agent career. Click the link below to access our recommended checklist of 10 critical questions to ask before putting your signature on that contract. These questions are a product of my years in the field and are designed to safeguard your interests. But we don't stop at just providing you with this tool. We genuinely care about your success. That's why I'd like to offer you a quick personalized demo on how to effectively use this checklist. With our guidance, you can enter into a partnership with the confidence that your best interests are the top priority. Click the link below to download the checklist and schedule your demo with me now. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found our video interesting, please give us a virtual high five with a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. By subscribing, you'll have access to more content aimed at advancing insurance professionals like you. We look forward to seeing you again next week.